Good morning guys, welcome to a very exciting video. I know I just posted my 2024 reset video, but we're doubling down and we're doing this one because I feel like it's necessary. For you guys, the 2024 reset video just went up, but for me, I filmed that over two weeks ago and my room is back to a state of disaster. So in this video, we are going to be getting my life together. I'm talking, we're taking down my Christmas decorations, which are still up. It's January 16th by the time I'm filming this and even later by the time I'm posting it. So we're taking down my Christmas decorations, which are all over my room, but obviously the tree is the biggest one. We are going to be cleaning out and decluttering my closet and my dressers. I have been putting this off for quite literally multiple years. It's just something that needs to be done and there's no better time to do it than at the beginning of a year. So that's what we're doing in this video. We are getting my life together, deep cleaning, decluttering, and organizing my space. We've got a lot to go through. I'm really excited. We're gonna do this quick, fast, and in a hurry because I tend to dwell on these things. It tends to take me a quite a long time and I just want to get it done. So we're going to throw on a really fun motivating playlist and start with taking down all my Christmas decorations. I'm going to go get like a bin from the basement and put all my Christmas decorations away. And then after that, we'll start going through my clothes. So welcome to the vlog. If you guys are new here, my name is Charlotte. I am a post-grad lifestyle and productivity vlogger here on YouTube. This is a little bit outside of my normal content, but I think it's going to be fun. I usually do a lot of cleaning and organizing in my monthly reset vlogs, but we're doing more of it in this video. We're getting like a bonus cleaning and organizing video because I didn't do a lot of it in my yearly reset. I'm also filming a short form version of this video over on Instagram and TikTok. So if you guys don't follow me on those platforms, I will link them down in the description. Make sure to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And without any further ado, let's get started with finally taking down Christmas, which ended almost a month ago. <laughs> put it in a bin it like didn't really fit in the bin the lid didn't close so I might have to transfer it over to a different bin at some point we'll deal with that later I might have to go to Target and get a new bin but that's for now that's what we had anyway put my mirror back where she belongs it feels so bare over it right here next to my shelf where the mirror has been for the last like month and a half but you know what that's showbiz baby next up I think it only makes sense to go through my closet. That's the other biggest project that I need to do and I feel like the mess level in my room right now has got to be like it's gonna get worse before it gets better because it's like a little bit messy right now like there's things sort of out and about like I have a suitcase that I need to unpack but I'm like I know I'm gonna be keeping all of the clothes in the suitcase because I brought them with me like those were the clothes that I chose to bring with me on a trip so I'm like of course I'm gonna keep those clothes those are my top choices so I'm like there's no point in unpacking the suitcase and putting all those clothes away just to, you know, open my drawers and go through my closet again 30 seconds later. So I think we're gonna go through my closet. Let me pan you guys over so you can see. It's actually not that big. It looks bigger than it is, but it's not deep at all. I guess we can go over there. Here she is, in all her glory. This closet has... It fits a lot of clothes, so it's not like I feel like it's bursting at the seams. Like, I'm not cleaning out because I'm, like, wanting to make space for more clothes. Except for on these shelves, I definitely have a stockpile of, like, sweaters and crewnecks that is becoming a little bit concerning. So I definitely want to go through those. Like, that's a space concern, but on the shelves and, like, on the hangers, I don't have space concerns. It's more just, like... I feel like I have to sort through all of these clothes that I don't wear just to find the clothes that I do want to wear. And that's kind of annoying. 
and I don't want to be doing that anymore. So we're basically just going to go through piece by piece and be like, do I wear this? Yes or no? How often? Basically just going to sort through all of them and make two piles, like a keep pile and a donate pile and go from there. I'm trying to decide what the best way to do this would be for you guys, if it's like to narrate it or if it's just to like time lapse it. Because I feel like if I narrate, it's gonna take forever but that's also kind of the fun part i don't know maybe i'll show you guys the interesting bits and leave some of it time lapse some of it montaged all right first things first i've got two laundry baskets in here i don't know why this taller one is from college the shorter one is from home originally but then the handles broke don't ask me why i'm still keeping it i don't know um this is the one that i use because it's not broken this one the handles have kind of like snapped off a little, not snapped off, but like they've cracked so I can't, if it's full, I can't carry it anymore. Why did I keep it? I don't know. <laughs> I think it's because I don't know how to throw away a laundry basket. Maybe this will be the basket that I put all of the stuff that I'm not keeping in, although I think it's going to get full rather quickly. Um, I'm just going to put this underneath you. Alright, starting off strong with shoes. Oh, this is so overwhelming. Okay, <laughs> little white booties are gonna be a yes for now. These little brown booties are gonna be a donate. I've had these since high school, so it's time to get new ones, so. These nude heels are also gonna be a donate because I just don't wear this style of like open toe shoe. I'd rather wear like a strappy, chunkier heel. So these are also a donate. Same thing with these black heels. I have a pair that I would wear more often. I never wear these, so donate. These silver heels are the heels that I wore to my junior year prom in high school. <laughs> Donate. And then these are just a pair of little yellow, like, slip-on sneakers, also that I've had since high school, so that's also a donate. These nude heels I am going to keep. These are actually very new. I got those last year. Same thing with these black ones we're keeping. These little floral sandals I'm going to keep. Those are also kind of new. These are the heels that I wore to my senior year prom. Um, sometimes they come in handy, so I'm gonna keep them, even though I don't wear them all that much. Next up are these little white wedges. I wore these, can you even see me? I wore these to my high school graduation. I don't wear them all the time, but they're so cute and they fit so well and they're so comfortable that I feel bad throwing them away because I feel like I could still use them, so. These are a keep. Okay, next up I have these chunky black boots that I got from Princess Polly. These are such a sleigh, but I have not worn them. I think they're just a little bit too edgy for me. They just are not my typical style, but they're brand new and they fit well. So I might hang on to them just in case. If I don't, these will be something that I mark as like, if you haven't worn these six months from now, you're not going to. And then this is part of a shelf that I got from Amazon, part of a shoe organizer. I guess we'll just put things back on there. I'm gonna do this one quickly. This is an old pencil case. I don't even know why I'm keeping this. I don't even know why it's in my closet. It should be in my desk. I'm gonna back you up a little. I don't know why this is in my closet. This should be on my desk. Um, next, I've got my three different belts. I've got a black leather one that's like professional and then two other like more casual ones. I've got a white leather one, another black leather one. These ones I'll keep. I don't know, do I just throw everything on the floor and then refold it? I also have this belt, which is part of a skirt. Uh, I don't know, I guess I'll keep it. Um, this is just decorations. These are two little Polaroids that I took while we went on vacation to Bermuda a couple years ago. Just fits perfectly in that little weird inner space shelf. And then this is my sun hat that I keep for the summers. <laughs> She's cutie. I always feel so classy when I wear a little sun hat, like to the beach or something, but it's 20 degrees and snowing outside, so we'll save this for the summer. Next, we're gonna go rapid fire through these two shelves. These are all of my sweaters, um, and then as I ran out of space in my drawers, it also became space for sweatpants and kind of just everything. Somewhat organized, over here we've got whites and creams. Here we've got like warm colors and neutrals. Down here we've got blacks and grays. And then over here we've got um, cool tone colors like greens and blues. Um, so I'm basically just gonna take everything off these shelves one by one and be like, keep, donate, and we'll go from there. I don't even know what to do with the keep ones. I gotta keep, keep, donate, keep. This is where I get conflicted. I really like this sweater, but I haven't worn it since last winter. I'm gonna put, I'm <laughs> I'm gonna do the one thing I said I wouldn't do, and I'm gonna make a maybe pile. Maybe. This is a little matching set that I got from Princess Polly last time I worked with them, and I really like it, but I never, like, gravitate towards it. It's like a short and a t-shirt set, and it's really cute. I just don't wear it, like, hardly ever. So, 
This might go into the maybe pile. Keep, 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 keep. This one, I really liked this sweater when I first got it, but I haven't worn it again since last winter because I don't love it as much as I did at the beginning. And last time I washed it, these little strings at the bottom, one of them pulled. So I feel bad because I also spent, this is one of the sweaters that I bought for myself as a little treat after I hit 10,000 subscribers on YouTube, but I think this is going to be a donate. This one, also cutie, really liked it, haven't worn it, haven't even reached for it, so this is going to be a donate. Okay, keep, keep, keep. It's gonna be a maybe. This is gonna be a keep but on thin ice. This is a cardigan that I wore a lot when I got it and I don't really wear it as much anymore. Cause I don't, I don't look cute in cardigans. I look like a grandma in cardigans. This is going to be a keep. This is going to be a donate. And this is actually a scarf. So this is a keep. All right, keep, keep, keep. Oh, I love this set. This is another set from Princess Polly got over the summer. Love this set for all I am. You can only wear it in the summer, which kind of stinks cause it's like shorts and it's crocheted so it's very thin but keep this is the exact same sweater as the green one it's just in this sort of like oatmeal -y color this is definitely better than the green i've worn this a couple of times but i don't know maybe this will be a maybe maybe this will be a keep okay last up we have all of my crewnecks these are sort of also color organized into like lights and neutrals and darks and colors over here i have so many sweatshirts <laughs> so many which is weird because I didn't used to think of myself as someone who wore sweatshirts a lot but I very big sweatshirt girl um, I'm also getting a pretty serious pile going on down here these two are my keep piles that one there is my baby pile um, so for sweatshirts I am just gonna put the keep ones down here for the minute and then we'll cart them all off later okay <laughs> First up is my Mickey sweatshirt. This is a keep. Most of these are gonna be keeps. Keep, keep, keep. Okay, keep. This is what, actually, this was my first ever Michigan sweatshirt. I will never get rid of this as long as I live. Bury me in this, honestly. Okay, keep Michigan, keep Virginia Beach, keep. I never wear this, so this is gonna be a donate. Okay, I don't think these are dirty because it's just been clothes on them nonstop, but I'm gonna wipe them down just in case. It is the new year after all. I'm not gonna start it out being crusty. Yum. Good lord. <laughs> not horrible, but glad I did it. Now, uh, now that I've sorted through everything and it's in these horrendous piles down here, <laughs> I'm just gonna start putting stuff back where it belongs. Okay, that actually wasn't that bad. I'm gonna try and speed this up because I feel like this is taking quite a long time and we've still got more to do. So in my closet, we've got three like hanging pieces. We've got over here, this is for like longer stuff like dresses and things. And then over on this side, we've got two of the shorter ones. So I'm just gonna montage going through all three of these like hanging bits, pulling out the pieces that I wanna donate and leaving the pieces that I'm gonna keep. And I'm gonna throw my Taylor Swift playlist back on and we're gonna get this done. It's the things I do do And it's the smile on your face And as time goes by I know, I know I'm in a better place I'm in a better place Without your love I am out of place And without you Okay, that ended up being super anticlimactic, mostly because I don't actually have the spine to do a real clean out of my closet. There's so many things that I looked at and I was like, oh, I don't wear this at all, but I can't throw it away. Like, I wore this to whatever. Like, I wore this to something important in high school or like, I haven't worn this in literally six years, but what if I have an occasion to wear it? Um foolish behavior on my end but you know what it's fine i have seen a hack where you like flip all your hangers inside out so they hang like instead of hanging the normal way you flip them so they're all hanging like this 
sort of like backwards. And then once you like take something out and wear it, you put it back the correct way. And then every six months or so you go through your closet and anything that's still hanging backwards you haven't worn, it's time to get rid of it. Um, like I mentioned, I don't have the spine for that. I did get rid of quite a few things, um, like blouses and things that I don't wear. So this like pile of hangers down here, that's everything that I got rid of. This overflowing laundry basket down here is my donate pile so far. Before I organize that, I'm going to go through my dressers. Before we actually get into them, I want to talk about what's on top of my dresser. I've been so good about keeping it clean. The only things that I have on here most of the time, sometimes I'll get cluttered and stuff with, you know, clothes that I need to fold or whatever. But most of the time, I just have my decorations up here, including my little perfume bottles, which is a perfect time to tell you guys about the sponsor of this video, Dossier. I've worked with Dossier so many times. I love their brand. If you guys are not familiar with Dossier, they're an online retailer that specializes in perfumes and colognes inspired by luxury brands. So with Dossier, you can get the exact same scents as your favorite brands like Chanel, YSL, Versace, and a whole host of other brands, but you get the exact same scent for a fraction of the price. I've worked with Dossier a number of times in the past. I absolutely love their brand. I use their perfumes as perfume and then I also use them as decor because the bottles are so cute. I've got one on each side of my dresser. I've got one over here. This is Floral Honeysuckle. This is inspired by Gucci Blue. And then I've also got one over here. This is Sunny Vetiver and Neroli. This is actually a Dossier original scent. Every Dossier perfume comes in this cutie little box. Super minimal. Very easy to pack and store. Y'all know this entire video is about decluttering my life, so I love that Dossier makes it so easy to pack and ship and store their perfumes. The boxes are small and compact, so you can store them pretty much anywhere you have space in your closet. And like I mentioned, the bottles are so cute that even if you don't want to put them away, they look really cute as decor and they don't take up a lot of space, but they add such a nice little cutie minimalist touch. Inside your Dossier box, you'll find obviously your perfume and then a little information card that tells you a little bit more about what it smells like and the luxury perfume that it's inspired by. This one, for example, is called Floral Rhubarb, inspired by Marc Jacobs Perfect. This was the scent that I wore on New Year's Eve when we were in New Orleans. I talked to you guys about Dossier in that video as well. It also tells you a little more about the mission of the brand and their return policy, which is really awesome, and it just fits right here in the box so you never lose it. So even though I'm decluttering everything else in my life, I am keeping my Dossier bottles and boxes because they are so easy to store and they smell so, so good. If you guys are interested in checking out Dossier for yourself, I've got a link in a discount code for you in the description. You can use my code on screen to get 5% off at Dossier. And another huge shout out and thank you to Dossier for sponsoring this video. Now, off we get to cleaning out my dresser. I've got two of these. We've got six drawers, except this one is kind of like my junk drawer. I should definitely go through it. Like this is the time to go through it, but um, that just feels really daunting. So I'm not going to. We're just gonna go through the clothes for right now. If I look at something and go, oh yeah, I forgot about this. It's gone, definitely won't be gone. I, I don't have, you know, the backbone for that, but we're gonna try. into my life such a magic feeling we tore down my walls i wish i could go back to write 
right before you told all right here's the pile this is the donation pile uh it used to be a laundry basket and then it started overflowing so um i've got three big garbage bags that we're gonna try and fit everything in i think that'll be plenty i'm thinking i'm probably gonna do clothes in like one or two bags and then i'll probably have my shoes in a separate bag just to make it easier for like the goodwill to sort through part of me is thinking like i've got some stuff in here that's from like white fox and princess polly and revolve like this brown shirt is from revolve never worn it so part of me was like oh i should take it over to plato's closet um see if i can like make some money off it or something but honestly i kind of want to just get it off my hands like i just don't whatever money i would make from it it would be like 10 bucks or something from everything in here so i'm just like let's just at this point it's more about getting it off my hands let's see what we can fit Okay, it's a little bit later. It's snowing a lot harder now, so it's getting kind of dark and the lighting's getting kind of bad in my room, but that's okay. We ended up, I put them out in the hallway so they wouldn't be clogging on my room, but we ended up with two full trash bags worth of clothes and then my backpack is where I ended up putting all my shoes. Like I said, it is snowing pretty bad right now, so I probably will wait to donate those until tomorrow once the roads clear up and everything. Uh, for some perspective, this is what it looks like outside. That's my car right there, covered in snow. So, um, I'm not really feeling like going out and driving in this. Massive car crash in the beginning of January is not really the vibe that I'm going for in 2024, so we'll wait for that until tomorrow. Um, there are a couple more things that I want to tackle, including organizing some of my books that I want to go through. So obviously, I have this bookshelf. That's like my main bookshelf. Um, most of the books that are on there, I'm probably going to keep. I've been sort of like cycling through those throughout the year. Down here next to my bed, I've got this massive stack of books that I just am done with or have grown out of or had for school that I am probably going to try and donate to the public library. There's like, you know, the full Hunger Games trilogy is in there. Like the Mysterious Benedict Society series is in there. There's some good like young adult, like truly young reader books in there that I just don't need anymore. The rest of them, if they can't take them to the library, I'll like donate them to Goodwill. I've also got this stack of books over here that I need to go through. <laughs> Those are books that I'm either borrowing from other people or that I got for Christmas. Why do I have so many books? So that's one thing. I guess there's three things I need to do. Um, another thing that I want to do is sort out underneath my bed. I've been kind of like stuffing things under there. <laughs> so we're going to go through that. Um, it's mostly yarn, which is good. It's not like horrible under there. And then the third thing I want to do, which actually I may end up doing first, is cleaning all my makeup brushes. That's something that I keep seeing people doing on TikTok. And I'm like, oh, damn, like I need to clean my makeup brushes. So I think I'm going to do that first. And then they can be drying while I'm doing the other two things. I think this should go quick. I got a PR package from Sigma Beauty like a year and a half ago, I think, and they sent me these two things which I'm going to be using to clean my brushes. Makeup brush cleanser, and then this is like a silicone mat that you can use to like rub your brushes on. So I'm going to be using both of these to clean off my brushes, and hopefully that'll make it go a little bit faster. I cannot remember the last time I cleaned my makeup brushes, so this is probably going to be a little bit gross and a lot satisfying. And then I'm just going to put all this stuff in my sink and figure out how to use this stuff and we're gonna wash them and then I'll just dry them out right on the countertop. Said we'd reach the stars. Look at us now, could have gone so far. It hurts to realize we're parted. Yeah, look at us now, this is who we are. And I just know things will never be the same. Strangers again, again, again Strangers again, again, again
All right, brushes are drying in the bathroom. We are going to speed round my way through the last two things that I wanna do, cleaning and organizing my books and going through everything that's under my bed. You know when you like get super motivated to clean in the morning and then like five o'clock rolls around and you're like, I'm over this. That is where I'm at right now. So we're gonna go through the rest of this really, really quickly. We're gonna go through my books, no mercy. We're sorting things into two piles, the key pile and the donate pile, perhaps a potentially a third pile that's stay in the house and just goes to the basement. And then really quickly, we're gonna go through under my bed. It's really not that bad down there. It's mostly just yarn that I use when I crochet. So hopefully this will be quick. Anyway, let's get started with going through the books. Just know things will never be the same Like strangers again Notebooks that I've never used. Oh my god! This is my first ever bullet journal. This was from 2017. Oh my god, look at this. This is so old. Oh my god. Mems. <laughs> notebooks. Why do I hang on to these things? So I've become an expert also, oh my god, in finding ways to use things in unconventional ways. <sighs> um, okay, so the reason I had this stuff under my bed was I worked on this for a job that I had like junior and senior year of college. I worked at a marketing agency and I actually designed these product labels, which was really cool. Um, so they shipped me a bunch of product so I could make a bunch of TikToks about it and I've been keeping them under my bed since the summer of 2021. Is that possible? It had to be the summer of 2022. So I just had these cleaning product bottles hanging out under my bed. So uh, I think it's finally time to get rid of these and recycle them. <laughs> a lot of this stuff is just gonna go back under here anyway, but I feel like I cleaned out a significant amount of stuff, especially those bottles. I had to extend my cleaning into a second day. <laughs> I was feeling kind of meh, like I didn't really feel like it was all that much cleaner and then I vacuumed and now I'm feeling so good. My room feels so clean, so like crisp and fresh. I feel really, really good. There's definitely still like a little bit of clutter that I'm just like working out finding space for. Like I've still got some stuff over there under my window, like the blanket that I'm working on and my work bag. But other than that, I mean, I feel like it's a lot better than it was. So I'm really happy with it. I'll give you guys kind of like the once over of the room. My shelf, which looks so sad and lonely over here by itself now. Got my bed, kind of hard to see because of the windows, but my desk. Over here we've got my closet, which is all clean and organized now. I mean, it looks almost exactly the same, but you know, we know that it's cleaner. Same thing over by my dressers. They look the exact same, but we know that they're cleaner. My mirror is back where it belongs. My vanity, this part is another like part that's still a little bit cluttered. Those are the books that 
that I still need to get rid of slash find a place for some stuff I need to unpack but for the most part I think it looks really good <laughs> I'm a big like cleaner and organizer but I'm not usually a big decluttering person so I'm really happy that we did this video better late than never to get a clean start for the new year really hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did make sure you leave a like on it for me down below and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already also make sure to go follow me over on my Instagram and my TikTok where I'll be posting a lot more short form content including shortened mini versions of parts of this vlog which is super fun but that's gonna be it for this one thank you guys so so much for watching I really hope you enjoyed and I'll see you in the next one bye guys